Hi, Tarot lovelies, it's Ethany, and it is Friday, which means it's First Impressions Friday here on my channel. And I actually did a bit of a boo-boo. I, <laughs> I did not realize that I hadn't recorded the first part to the um, Ancestral Oracle of the Celts deck by Caitlin Matthews. So I'm doing this retrospectively. <laughs> so I apologize. And also I dropped it. <laughs> So this did not come damaged. That was me. I was moving some things and it fell off my table. So it came beautifully from uh, Watkins. So I apologize about that. But I, I just received this. I received this deck last month from Watkins. And I'm just getting around to it now, unboxing it. And I also have her deck too, the Lenormand one as well. And I actually just sample reading this time. I rarely do a sample reading with the deck, but you'll see when we start to go through it, the way that this is structured actually really lent itself to doing a sample reading. So we're going to swap over cameras. This is by Caitlin Matthews. It is by Watkins. It's got a lovely little um, purple, my favorite color. So we're going to swap over cameras and go through the ancestral oracle of the Celts together and experience this deck. Hi lovely ones, so we've now swapped cameras and we're going to be going through the Ancestral Oracle of the Celts by Caitlin Matthews. Um, Caitlin is a very well known in our community author, creator, and I wanted to go through this beautiful deck. Now first of all, um, it's there are, <laughs> there are 32 cards that represent the clans. So it says here, representing the circle of common ancestors who hold a huge collective of wisdom. There are four clans, truth, honor, sovereignty, and wisdom, each based on a category of Celtic society, farmers, warriors, nobles, and arts, artists, craft people. The clan cards help you make decisions, navigate challenging situations, and follow your highest path. And then we have the divine ancestors, and these are eight cards represented in the ancestors from which everyone is descendant, the matriarch, the patriarch, gods and goddesses. The divine ancestors question your attitude to the issue you're asking and help you understand your deeper motives. Um, I, you know, Caitlin has got a huge resume. I only hope one day to have such an impressive work behind me. Um, this is one of her beautiful, like it's, this is by Watkins. I have that deck too. Um, it comes in this lovely pull out. Now I'm wondering whether this is a reprint of their, uh, of the other Celtic Oracle that she did a little, like a long while ago. If someone can let me know, whoops, if it is, because it doesn't actually say, whoops, ah, things are falling behind me. Um, I get press release stuff sometimes and it didn't actually say in the press release if this was a reprint. Uh, so I'm sure somebody will let me know though because the internet knows all the things. This purple is giving me life So the only thing I did was take off the plastic wraps so that we wouldn't be spending time worrying about that as I record I love purple <laughs> so much So then we have the guidebook We'll be going through that So all this gorgeous purple and then We have the little inside there that was actually, that came off, which is no big deal. It, it does what it does. These are the backs. Now, it does actually have a Celtic uh, design on the back there. I'm not quite sure if you can. Oh, yeah, if the camera's picking it up. Lovely, simple backs that are reversible. And we have, there's no lining or anything. It feels like 350 card stock. There's no, super, there's no specific finish to it. Um, and let's go through the cards. Now, the reason why I'm saying I think it is a reprint is because I have the Celtic Oracle um, from a long time ago, and I think it, that it is because I remember some of the cards being um, landscape and some of them being portrait. So we have the Lady of Fire. These are the ancestor, the divine ancestors cards. Um, yes, yeah, so these are the divine ancestor cards here the lady of life and we have these on these like beautiful scrying bowls we have a robin up the top there the lord of life 
So these are borderless, these ones. You can see over here, these ones are not borderless. I wonder why that decision was made to make some of them borderless and some of them not. Lady of Light. Because even if you made it borderless, but you kept these, I guess like the argument can be made because you can see how many of what clan is down um, because of the border colors, but you could still see that if you, because if you kept these little mo these little clan stamps, then you'd be able to tell pretty quickly too because they'd be color coded. Um, that's just a pre preference for me. I prefer if, if if one set is going, if like if one part is going to be all um, borderless to keep it that way, the Lord of Light. So you can see the male and female counterpart here. It's very classic um, from that the, the God and the Goddess, the Lady of Love or the Lord and Lady. The Lord of Love. was holding deers by the legs <laughs> this would have all been taken from traditional um from art you know art or from the time it's not like this was like the art style was made up um at all then we have the lady of law with the four different clans up there and then the lord of law oh i like that skull in there so those are the Divine Ancestor cards. And then we move on here. I'm going to say that, that these are the farmers, the warriors. Oh, I can't remember what they were. <laughs> oh no. The bards. What were the other ones? The farmers, warriors, nobles. So these must be the nobles. Oh yeah, the princess, the prince. Well, that makes duh, that makes sense. So these are the um, the farmers. This is four clans, the clans of truth. The farmers, the spinner. The lad. Shepherdess, the tracker. That's a really cool card. I like that a lot. I do wish that they were borderless because you'd still have that. The weaver. These ha beautiful hag stones or fairy stones, there, being used to weave with. Oh, the sound they must make. I love it when like. Crystals and things knock together. The protector. The keeper. The artwork is stunning. That beautiful spider up there. I hate spiders, but I don't hate spiders. Well, I hate spiders because I'm terrified of them, not because I hate them. And the restorer. So this is the clan of truth. And the category of Celtic society is the farmers. That's our first clan. Then we have our clan of honor, the warriors in this beautiful orange, the maiden, the gilly. Hopefully I said that correctly. I try, I know I'm not perfect. The mistress. The Hunter, the Mother, the Warrior, the Fosterer, The commander, back to the maiden. So we have the orange, the clan of honor, 
the Society of Warriors. <clears throat> then we have the uh, Clan of Sovereignty or the Nobles in The Princess. The Prince. The Adulterac, the Adulterac. Very Isis vibes off of her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tanisty, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I don't know my don't know Gaelic. The Queen, she's beautiful. The King. And the Queen Mother. The artwork is so beautiful. The Counselor, which is one of the other reasons why I like my things borderless because they're just so lovely. There's such a, the print, back to the princess, there's such a freeing aspect of allowing the art to go all the way to the edges, but I'm also not a person who will shut down or not work with a deck if it's not um, borderless. And then our final, <clears throat> final suit, we have the uh, Clan of Wisdom, the, the art, arts and the artists and craftspeople. The seer. This would be my clan, I believe. The Brichon. The Brichon. The Bri uh, yeah, I'm trying. The Initiator. The poet, beautiful artwork. This is very much a um, the healer, uh, like a portrait kind of deck where we're seeing portraits of these different beings, these different ancestors. Um, if you're Celtic, the prophet. If you're Celtic, and maybe it'll come there. If you're if you're Celtic in um, your ancestry, like it, it definitely runs. In my ancestry, my sister did her 23andMe and there was stacks of, of, of uh, Irish um, in, our ch in our chart, um, which makes absolute sense. Um, that This would be a lovely deck to work with. The Way Shower. And then the Druid. Going back to the seer. So those are all of our cards. Now I'm going to leave these two out separately because I have a feeling once I go through this guidebook, I'm going to find that there are ways to working with this deck. And for a lot of the case, it could be that you divide it into two. Okay, so here's the guidebook. Illustrations by Will Kingen. Okay. I want to see... Yes, it was, yeah. First published as using the Celtic Wisdom Oracle in 2011. So I, what, 11? <laughs> oh, Anthony is tired. 2011. Oh, in 2011. So it was using the Celtic, or, um, Celtic Wisdom Oracle. Oh, funny duck. I have to go see if I can find my copy to see what the differences are. So we have introduction. The Keepers of Family Soul. And here we have this, that beautiful Gundestrup cauldron. It was excavated from a Danish bog in 1891. Originally made in the first century BC, it depicts myths, ancestors and divinities of Europe's ancient past. Which is what the these cards we're all based on these okay and then chapter one shows how you 
blah, it shows you how the oracle works and deals with your interpretation. The sun circle diagram on page 11 shows the relationship between all the ancestors and the wheel of the year. Chapter 2 explores the kind of spreads you can. Chapter 3 introduces you to the divine ancestors. And then chapter 4, you'll meet the members of the four clans. And then chapter 5, you can deepen your relationship. So how do you use the oracle? So this is the sun circle or the wheel of the year. Creating a question about your issue. It's a, a really lovely addition there to have some information. But some people really struggle with um, forming questions. Okay, card position. So we've got the key. The clan of truth is the hawk. The clan of sovereignty is the stag. The clan of honor, the boar. And the clan of wisdom is the salmon. Spreads and patterns. And so here we go. Like you can see here, it says divine ancestor card, clan card. So when working with these, I would recommend you keep these two piles separate, separated so that you can do the, um, the actual questions. Um, so the burning question, select one divine ancestor card and uh, unseen and lay it face down. Shuffle the clan cards while holding your question and then choose one of them unseen. Read the oracle of your chosen clan card and then uncover the divine ancestor card and read the question from the selection, from the section that best suits the nature of your issue. What action, ooh, let's do that now. I never do this, but <laughs> I'm the All right, so first, first thing to do, select one divine ancestor card unseen. So one of these, one of these bad boys. So I'm gonna give these a, a shuffle. I'm actually closing my eyes too. I know you can't see me, but you're just gonna to have to uh, oh crap, take my word for it. Okay, select one. Okay. And then we are going to shuffle the clan cards while holding the question. Shuffle really nicely. I always comment on the shuffling, the way they shuffle. So. But that's just me being butter fingers because I'm on camera. And okay, I'm gonna close my eyes and just give a good shuffle, -roo. and then I'm gonna cut the deck. And then put that one down. Then I read this one first, right? The Brehon, the Bre, the Bre, the Brehon. I don't know how you would say that. That's my card. So we're gonna look that up. Oh crud! Sorry about that, folks. Okay, let's have a look. This. You are the first, no, the second one. Here we go. The clan of wisdom. The Brihon is a judge who represents true justice among the tribes. The peeled hazel wand symbolizes his discerning ability. So this is the information you get. Uh, then we've got here, the position is East, the emblem, the key word, arbitrate. Then we have family wisdom, I see things as they truly are, and balance justice with mercy. Desal and Tuathal, so um, clockwise and or windishins and anti-clockwise. So quite a lot of information in there. And then I want to see what we've got here. The Lady of Life. So the Lady of Life, I tell you, I tried getting a second podcast by the way everybody uh sorry tripod and it didn't work like i this is the best i can do and i apologize for <laughs> knocking it um so i looked at was looking at health so then that's what i asked you to do, have a look at the question so whether it was general work health or love and mine was health and well-being what always gives you vitality when you're low what is stealing or blocking your vitality so it's a really good question um then we have the sun circle, growth and quality, conception. Okay, that's a really, so you get lots here. That's a really cool little reading. I wanted to do that just to show you um, because I rarely do that, but I think that's really awesome. 
They do an example there as well. Then we have a three card spread, the grandparents spread, gifts of the season. So that's really cool. I like the fact that it's got these two very distinguished and spe distinguished, two specific and designed um, suits that have a very specific uh, purpose. And then you've seen the information that you get in there. So they jump straight into the card meanings. And then remembering the web, well, re weaving the web, remembering the ancestors. Okay, guidelines for constellating the ancestors. Interesting. It would also be cool to use this with um, working with uh, Benabel at Reader Studio two years ago, did a ancestral tarot spread. It'd be interesting to work with this. I have Celtic ancestors, as I mentioned. Um, this is my this is definitely my bloodline. Uh, I have a ton of Irish in my DNA, and I have a ton of Irish. Like if you keep going back, as well as English, but there's a lot of Irish there. Um, as you can see, I'm extremely fair. Uh, so this is going to be really lovely to rekindle with. Um, I do have the original version of this deck, the 2000. An 11 teen <laughs> version of this deck so I'm gonna go get it out and see if I can find it and I wonder why I never worked with it but uh, it'd be really fun to work with so that is the ancestral oracle of the Celts with a little sample reading there from Caitlin Matthews I will as always put a link to where you can go and find this deck in the description below sorry about knocking the um, the tripod over uh it happens these things happen i'm not perfect uh but as always thank you so much for watching